Hello everybody, and welcome back to another redstone video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about repeaters with no delay. Repeaters with no delay are otherwise known as instant repeaters, or instant redstone lines, and they don't look like this. So this is a normal redstone repeater, and you probably know this if you do redstone, but the thing with the repeater it has delay, and it does have a variable amount of delay, so one redstone tick up to four redstone ticks, incremental in steps of one tick, but the thing is that you can't get zero tick repeaters, so you can't have them have no delay, they have to have some delay. And so let me show you what the problem with this is, because redstone has a certain signal strength, and it goes up to 15, but once you run out of signal strength, so each extra block that redstone dust has to travel from the original power source, or from the closest power source actually, it loses one signal strength. So what you have to do is place a repeater here and that will kind of repeat the delay and yeah but now you have to do this again and again and you have to keep doing it until you get to your spot because these only again give out signal strength maximum 15 so let me show you what I mean this lamp it takes it a while to turn on right and for this distance it's like, it's less than a second, but for longer distances, it can matter. And for redstone contraptions where you have to have stuff activated at the same time, uh, it's not good. So you have to have stuff activated at the same time, otherwise the whole thing might break. And these little guys, they give out delay. So here's the first instant repeater ever, I'm pretty sure. And it was made by Sydney600MC. And it was made about 8 years ago, I think. And for every one of these designs, I'll put a link to the YouTube video in the description. But anyway, as you can see, the lamp instantly turns on. And there's a bit of a delay for it to turn off, but that's because of how lamps work, because it takes them two redstone ticks to turn off, no matter how quickly you turn them on or off. But anyway, you can see, if you kind of look into the distance there, all the instant repeaters turn on instantly. And this is what one of these instant repeaters looks like. Pretty much what we have is here a block, and this is a sticky piston, so you can see, yeah, sticky piston, and this is also a sticky piston, and yeah. Alright, but now we have a new problem. This is a bit laggy, because redstone dust turning from signal strength 0 to 15, it's creating a bit of lag. It creates way too many updates, and yeah, so... Yeah, every time this redstone um, increases signal strength, the more signal strength it increases by, the more laggy it is. And what you can do is pretty much give it a signal strength so that it only has to move up one more signal strength. And you can do that like this. Alright, there we go. Redstone block here, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. Transparent block so that it doesn't power this piston. A uh, normal block so that it can travel down here and it continues on and as you can see this doesn't actually power it because the signal strength is uh, zero there at the end but as you can see when we turn it on the, the power source is one block closer so here this redstone dust was being powered and here we had already signal strength 14 now this redstone dust is being powered by this block, now it has signal strength 15, and it can extend one block further. And this pretty much means that for every redstone dust, it only has to change one signal strength higher. So this is actually a bit more lag friendly than your typical instant repeater, where you would just um, do it like this. So it's a bit more lag friendlier than that. Now we even have one more problem. If you spam this, there we go. You can see this is off, but this is still on. And that's because this piston spit out its block. And we can of course go in here and fix that, but then this needs updating. And it's just a big pain in the butt. What you can actually do is grab yourself a sticky piston, an observer, and you only need to do this for the first instant repeater. And face the observer into there. Sticky piston right here, so when this redstone block moves over, the sticky piston will be powered observer like this facing into the redstone block and then what will happen is pretty much as soon as that redstone block gets um, extended 
this piston gets extended, which sends this um, sticky piston an update. So, pretty much, we can't break this. So it's not breakable now. And you only need to do this for the first one. And this was shown by Fallen Breath, by the way. I put a link to that video as well. But anyway, let's move on to the next design. So this design I saw first on Omengo's channel about four years ago. And pretty much how it works is you don't have redstone dust, instead you have budded rails. Or not budded rails, you just have powered rails here and budded pistons. And the difference here is that rails, they're actually way less laggy than redstone. Um, in 1.16 I think the redstone situation improved a bit, but before redstone used to be way laggier and it was really good to have rails. It still is, by the way. So how this works is pretty much you send each of these pistons an update. So this piston, it realizes it's powered here because of this block. Um, so it's bug powered with quasi connectivity. Then this slime block, uh, it pushes this redstone block, this redstone block, this block. Out of here, this block you need it uh, just so that the update order is correct so that this piston doesn't go crazy and start pulsing. But anyway, this block gets moved out of the way, the rest of the block, and it depowers this rail, which updates this piston, which then, the same thing happens, depowers this rail, and it keeps on going, and then you get an update out of that rail at the end there. Uh, pretty much all the rails, actually, but normally you want the update to go at the end. And so, each time you send this sticky piston an update, so you can uh, place a block next to it, whatnot. not, um, I actually built this too close, so it's actually updating this redstone line as well. We'll get to that in a second. But anyway, as you can see, all these pistons they turn on instantly. Alright, so that's El Mango's design. I don't know if it's his design, it's just I saw it first on his channel. So next, this uh, is one by one tick pulse. And again, uh, YouTube in the description. But anyway, this is budded rails. So pretty much, this redstone dust... Uh, this note block thinks that it's being powered by this dust, and this rail doesn't realize that this note block is unpowered. So, obviously the redstone dust is redirected at the detector rail, and it's not powering this block, but this rail still thinks that it's being powered by that block, because this redstone dust didn't send an update over here to the rail. So, this only works in, uh, I think, 1.13+, uh, first of all, because of um, the note block, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, you pretty much have um, that and then an observer facing into this piston, so it detects this rail and it points into the sticky piston, which then first remove this detector rail and that causes it to be powered here and this repowers this redstone rail line and then this observer detects that again and the sticky piston extends um, or spits out the detector rail over here. Alright, that's enough talk, let's see it in action. So as you can see, all those pistons, they update immediately. And let's show this a bit closer. If we send these rails an update, um, they realize, oh wait, I'm not powered, why am I powered? Let's turn off. And this rail realizes it's not powered, then this rail does, then this rail does, and so on until this observer, which updates this sticky piston, um, and powers it, and then, yeah. So yeah, it's, you can't really spam it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to spam it as hard as I can, and it seems to not be breaking, as you can see, it still works. Whereas this design, I'm pretty sure, yeah, if you spam it, you can break it. So yeah, you just have to go there and do that. All right, so, that's pretty much all the design. By the way, I have an Alex skin just because for some reason my internet's being a bit weird and it didn't let me load up my skin. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Roll download in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye.